Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story comes to us from Tildy. Hey Tildy, she sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for a story about some stinky, sticky slime? Me too. Let's go. (sighs) Tildy had just woken up. It was a beautiful morning and it was time for breakfast. She raced downstairs and there it was. A delicious plate of some of her favorite breakfast foods. Pancakes and bacon and eggs. Holy smokes, this was going to be a good day. She quickly finished this delicious breakfast and raced back upstairs because she still had her chores to do. She had to brush her teeth, clean her room, and make her bed. She was really good at those things. Have you ever made your bed all by yourself before? It looks so good when your bed is all made nice and neat. Your blankets are nice and straight and your pillow's in its place. Maybe stuffed animals and extra blankies are in a nice little nest. Oh, it is so nice to go to sleep with a made bed. But you always just have to make your bed in the morning so that you go when you go to bed at night, then it's already made. And, oh, Tildy loved going to bed into a nice, clean, made bed. Well, after she finished all of her morning chores, she uh, decided to check her spy beeper to see if there were any messages. Mm, No messages. Ah, it's going to be an easy day. Boy, was she wrong. As Tildy raced back downstairs, she was going to put her shoes on and go play outside. She had a lot of friends in her neighborhood and they loved to play games at the park. She put her shoes on, she opened the door, and was immediately greeted with a terrible, stinky smell. What is that smell? Tildy shouted, plugging her nose with her fingers. Whoa, what in the world? I don't even know if I've ever smelled something like that before, said Tildy. As she opened the door and and looked outside, (gasps) what happened? The entire yard was filled with this purple slime that that must be what's so stinky. Oh, it's a huge mess. As she looked around and down her street, she saw that her entire neighborhood had been covered in this sticky, stinky purple slime. Bzz, 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 bzz. <gasps> That's my spy beeper. It must be about this stinky mess. She closed the door to not let any more of that stink into her house and ran upstairs to her room to check the beeper. As she pushed the button, it said, Tildy, this is HQ. We know that you must have smelled this terrible smell by now because your neighborhood has been directly hit by some kind of ginormous mess. We're not sure what's going on, but do not walk in that slime. It is like some kind of super glue. We're pretty sure that the purple ninjas are connected to this in some way. So stay tuned for more information. Oh no, the purple. Oh, that's why it's purple. Those ninjas are always up to no good, said Tildy. As she ran back downstairs she saw some of her friends starting to walk outside. She raced to the door, opened it up. Wait, guys, don't go outside. It's really sticky. Ah, I can't move my feet, shouted her friends. Help, somebody help me. Oh, no, they were stuck in the sticky, stinky slime. Dun, dun. Dun, dun! Tildy knew what she had to do. She had to go save her friends from this terrible mess. She raced upstairs where all her spy gear was, put on her jetpack, 
and a pair of uh, pluggers for her nose. She needed to find something to stick up her nose or close it shut so that she wouldn't have to smell that. Oh, a clothespin. Perfect. Ow. Oh, that that kind of hurts. And oh no, I smell like a or I sound like a purple ninja. I wonder if that's why they talk like this is because they're always plugging their nose to be around Dr. Stinky Breath. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, said Tildy. Tildy raced outside with her jetpack on and blasted off, hovering just above the sticky slime. She knew that if she touched it at all, she would have some serious problems. But the clothespin actually worked pretty well. It kept her nose closed so she didn't have to smell this terrible smell. She flew over to one of her friends and grabbed on and pulled with all of her might, blasting the jetpack with all of its juice. And finally, the friend popped out of the sticky slime. Oh, thank you so much, Tildy, he said. Help! Over here! Oh no, there was another friend. Tildy had to put this friend down back at his his house and she had to race down to the next house and the next house and pretty soon everyone was needing Tildy's help. She spent the next two hours pulling people out of this sticky slime. With each time that they popped out of the slime, it left a pretty silly sound. All right. Everyone, please stay in your houses. Do not go outside or else you're going to be stuck. I will report back when I learn more. She had to tell everyone in the neighborhood to stay in their houses so that she could get this figured out. Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh, good. I hope it's the spy beeper with more information. Maybe HQ has figured this out. She blasted off back to her house with her jetpack. She landed and ran inside. Tildy, this is HQ. We have learned that the Purple Ninjas are testing this new sticky substance to determine if it can make the entire world stay inside. Because if the whole ground is covered in this sticky slime, then no one will be able to go out and get more toothpaste. Pretty soon, the entire world will run out of toothpaste, and everyone will have very stinky breath. (gasps) That's a terrible plan, said Tildy, as she realized that it was Dr. Stinky Breath and the Purple Ninjas behind all of this. It was just a plot to get everyone to stay in their house so that they wouldn't be able to get any more toothpaste. Wow, he will do anything to get people to get stinky breath. All right, I got to figure out how to get rid of this sticky slime. Tildy started to do experiments. Do you know what an experiment is? Yeah, where you test out different things. Well, she took a little spoonful of the slime and brought it into her kitchen. She started to test out if she poured salt or sugar or ketchup on it. And then she waited to see the results. And she learned that if she poured salt on the sticky slime, it turned to water and washed away. (gasps) Perfect! Tildy let everybody know about the remedy to this sticky slime, that it just needed some salt. The, The whole neighborhood got all their salt out and shaked it on the sticky slime. Not only did it remove the smell, but it got rid of that terrible sticky slime. Woohoo! Great job, Tildy. You saved us all and you stopped the purple ninjas again. Wow, Tildy. I'm so glad that you are on our team. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid 
Shout outs. I want to say hey to Sebastian and Victoria from New Jersey, Molly Dean and Carter from Toronto, Emery and Ellie from Lexington, Kentucky, Justin and Noah from Pennsylvania, Noah and Julia from Massachusetts, Nora from Chicago, and Amelia from Minnesota. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath without you, my friends. Will you have a super duper day? Bye.